Though Verde Beach is a major tourism destination, the city has struggled with a lack of architectural diversity with regards to its hotels. Rumor has it that many of the city's hotels were designed by the same architect, the late Philip with two L's the first, and the design was reused as a cost-saving measure by the Chi I mean frugal Burr family. And though Philip was considered a master in his day, the overuse of any design can take the shine away from it, and people often complain that the only differences between most of the hotels is their height and the color of their signs. Isabella Myrtle and Raul Lopez are among the detractors, and they've been plotting their entry into the hospitality industry ever since inheriting Myrtle Development. And since the development of Playa de Matero, they now have the capital to make a big splash in the industry. In today's episode, they will begin by constructing the first hotels in their would-be hospitality empire in Verde Beach. They'll start small, learning the ropes of how to manage a hotel chain with the goal of gaining the experience they need to build a major tourism destination right here on Palma de Fuego. But before we can do any of that, we're going to need to unlock all 15 new hotels that came with the Hotels and Retreats DLC, which was recently released, which we're going to attempt to do today. But before we do any of that, we have to convert our new industrial park into an industrial evolution industrial park. And we'll check on this at the end of the episode. And there it goes. We also need a name for this industrial park, so if you have one, drop it in the comments. And if you're excited for the new hospitality industry, hit the like button. And if you like Phillips hotels as they are and think we should keep them, hit the like button for that too. Or just drop a name for the hotel chain for the sake of engagement. And because we need a name, preferably one that honors Maggie Myrtle. And without any further ado, let's jump right in. Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays. We are building the city of Verde Beach and we've got a good one today. We are going to work to turn Verde Beach into the vacation destination it was always meant to be by implementing the new Hotels and Retreats mini DLC. But before we can implement everything that we might want to implement in the most desirable location, such as right over here or right over here, we're going to have to work our way through the DLC mechanic. But more on that in just a minute. Let's talk about where we're going to build. We're going to begin right over here near our stadium district and add some of our basic motels right here. We'll then unlock the new inns, and I, I think that this might be a good location for an inn. And then hopefully we've made enough to be able to start placing some of our more fancy upscale hotels near Playa de Matero and downtown Verde Beach. We're not going to place every single hotel, but I do want to unlock all of them in this episode so that we can really go all out with our level five hotels once we have them available to us. But first, we need to talk about the DLC mechanics and play some basic motels. So to begin, we need to find our hotels, which are now located under the Parks and Plazas menu in a new tab called Hotels on the right-hand side. And we've got three available to us to start. And before we even select any, you start to see this new overlay, which shows the attractiveness of the area to different types of tourists. Right now, it's showing the shopping potential in these different areas. We also have sightseeing, business, and nature. Different types of tourists want different sorts of things, and the different types of tourists are attracted to different types of hotels. For our budget hotel, for instance, the number one demand is proximity to shopping, and probably tied with proximity to business. So as we look for a good location for this, we're going to want to toggle back and forth through here, remembering the most important things to find. The shopping's number one. That really narrows us down to Main Street and our little hotel district. Business, well, that, that takes us way out to here. So we might want to contemplate that. We'll see. And then nature is basically anywhere that has a forest or a coastline. I think even though this area isn't ideal from a business standpoint, it is where I want to place this. And I'm thinking somewhere along this location is probably pretty good. I'm going to take out one of those big hotels and I think I'll place another one over in this general area, maybe taking out some more of these towers. But we need to figure out if this is a good location for this hotel or not. And what you see is that this is a very bad location for business. We can actually improve this, which is something that we're going to do because our popularity rating of 68% isn't going to cut the mustard when we want to get unlock our level five buildings. And this will actually hurt us at that point in time. We can figure that out by going into manage hotels. Our average popularity to get to level five is actually going to be 90%. So we need to make sure that all of our hotels are getting as close to that as we can and some above it so that we can hit that 90%. So for business, we need to get some offices in this location. So let's just rezone a couple of things. And I'm curious as far as how much changing one of these will improve things. So let's just change this soy and lentils over to an office and see what happens. 
And would you look at that? The presence of one office building has raised our business attractiveness by 12 or 11. One of the two. The number's been bouncing around. I'm not 100% sure why. One of the reasons I'm speculating this is jumping around a bit is it might be influenced by the level of the building right here. For instance, this is a level one building. So if this were to level up to level two, I believe that this would get even more attractive. And we get to test that theory now and it just went up one number and our popularity rating is going up with it. So with a level two office next to it, we are now about halfway to where we need to be, a little bit less. I'm going to add one more office space in. And, and truthfully, there is one here already, but let's go a bit above and beyond and see if this does the trick for us. And with the new office across the street, we now have 17 out of 35 for our business desirability. And look at that. We are now at 82%. So I do think that letting this be a little bit is going to be the trick because as these buildings level up, we continue to see our popularity raise. I want to talk about something I've noticed as I've gone through and tried to play the lemonade stand game. And I call this the lemonade stand game because if you played with an Apple IIe way back in the day, you might have played a game called lemonade stand. It's a text based game where basically you went out every single day and tried to find the ideal price for lemonade. It was completely random. And all you could really do is adjust the amount of lemonade you were making and what you were charging. We have less control than that. <laughs> we can control the surroundings and then we can adjust the price. But what I've noticed is that if you get above 80% for a popularity rating, your best bet is just to crank this all the way to the top. You'll maximize your profit. Your guests will be, I don't know, about 80% of, of, of capacity. You'll never max it out, but you'll make as much profit as you can. In this case, it'll be about 760 per week once everything settles down. Maybe a little bit less, but that's about as good as you can do. So now we should take a look at our managed hotels and we can see what we need to get to the next level. So our popularity is on point. We're doing just fine. We don't have enough profit. So I think that with our other hotel, if we take a look and maximize this, we could get to where we need to be. Now, this one has a considerably more challenging time with this. You can see that from a natural environment standpoint, this one is considerably worse. And from a business standpoint, we're also not in a good place. So let's change that and we'll again add some businesses over here and this is a great opportunity to get rid of all of these super tall towers anyway and going wall to wall or maybe we just extend the hotels district over this and make this wall to wall that's probably a more efficient way of handling this and the shopping is still all the way at the top it seems like these new hotels are happy being next to the old ones they'll consider that shopping which is kind of funny and we still have a problem with our natural location. But here's the thing. I think we can game this a bit as well. I think we can figure this out by planting some trees around it. Let's see what that did. It got us to one. <laughs> Mountain Mars. <laughs> you know, maybe it's not the end of the world, though, because our business location is really good. Our popularity is now at 88%. Over here, we are at 100%. So the two of these... We get, oh, we're at 90 now. We're exactly where we need to be. Let's crank this up though, because again, we have a, pop, a popularity above 80%. We can max this out and match our revenue. 728 over here, and that should be the same over here. 728, there we go. Looking very good. And one thing you might notice is we have the ability to change a couple of things here, such as our logo, our color, and the name of our hotel chain. I need a name from you. And I want this to be a name that honors Maggie Myrtle. So if you have an idea for the name of the hotel chain, please drop it in the comments below. Same thing with the logo and the color. For the time being, I think I want to go with this palm tree for demonstration purposes. And that's because I want to show you that we actually have the ability to change the look of the hotels. Right now, our accent color is this grayish color. We can really customize this and make it look neat. So I'm going to make this kind of a, a watery looking blue. But if you got an idea for a better color, let me know in the comments. And with that, let's start looking at our inns and some of our chain hotels. So we've now unlocked three new hotels. We have this small hotel, we have this inn, and then we have this roadside motel. So for this one, it's near shopping and sightseeing as our number one and number two goals. So for this one near a commercial area, I do think that we could place this near our, our little hotel district. In fact, I think that we might want to take something like this gigantic tower that again, I placed this here basically so that it would look a little bit more natural having all this height here. And instead we'll place one of these hotels. 
maybe even two. Now these should be in ideal locations. Holy cow, we knocked it out of the park. So we didn't even really do much here and we have 10 out of 10, 100% popularity. Just crank it up to the top. The one next to it, again, an excellent location. Couldn't really do any better. So I'm very pleased about this. And when we take a look at what this does, our average popularity is almost maxed out. So we must just have to wait. Yep, there we go. We had to be patient and wait for a weekly profit to catch up. We could place one more of these and then maybe one of our ends and we'd probably be exactly where we need to be. So let's do that. We'll place one more of these, then we'll repair our trails over here. And there we go. We have repaired this. Things are looking good. I wish that these were different colors. <laughs> That's one thing where mods could be really helpful. Apparently this is a great location, but not quite as good as the other two. 99% here instead of 100. By getting rid of this little pot here, it looks like we've dropped the desirability across the board. Interestingly, this one has a nature problem. I think we're going to try to fix that with a bit of landscaping around here. Maybe even a fountain that probably won't help with the uh, nature, but I think it'll look nice. I've added a bit of landscaping around here. I just wanted to see if this would get us where we need to be. Look at that. We're at 100. We have boosted this up by planting a bunch of landscaping around here. So what this proves is that we can control the natural environment and good things come to those who landscape. So be sure to landscape all around. We have reached level three, but I, I don't want to leave it here just yet. I really want to place an inn because I think I have an excellent location. It's right here, right next to our petting zoo. I want to back out our bike trail a little bit further back here, maybe clean some of our landscaping up as well and place one of our inns right here. Then I want to eliminate some of this zoning. We want this to have some space and that is pretty darn good. So let's take a look at our old inn and what it needs is sightseeing, shopping and nature. So for nature, we're very close. We've got the water right here. We could add some landscaping to really boost this up. For sightseeing, that's destinations and we've got a major destination here already. And for shopping, we have this shopping district right here. I do wonder if this is going to be good enough. We'll have to find out. Let's place our inn right here. And look at that. We don't even need to do anything. Even though this didn't look perfect, it was. So let's just clean this up and make it feel like a better place. We can't leave it this messy. And there we go. I think that this is a little bit more fitting. Obviously, this is kind of a strange location for this, but you do see a bed and breakfast in, a, in an odd location from time to time. But at least we've made it feel like someone really cares about this. If you figure the owner might live here and this would be their life's work. This is where all of their income has gone, all of their savings, and this is it. So they're going to take absolutely immaculate care of it. I do want to fix the landscaping on the cliff. All right, this is absolutely fantastic. And we are gonna make a decent amount of money, $912 a week. So this is one of our more profitable hotels, but we know that we are at 99% popularity. We can crank it to the top. And you can see that this is one of our most profitable hotels. Very difficult to beat the small hotel at this point in the game. They are just so good. And then I do wanna place one of these roadside motels. These are just ubiquitous. You see them all over the place. And these need a little bit of everything, particularly shopping. So I think that we could tuck one of these away along this main drag here and have it be really successful. So there should be a little bit of everything. It seems like nature is the one thing they don't care so much about, but we've got a forest behind here. We've got forest, business, shopping, and sightseeing. So this should be good. Let's worry about our contours. That's probably our biggest question mark. And I think we could probably get away with one Maybe right about here. This isn't the most ideal location. There's a little bit of a lumpy and bumpy. I wouldn't want to drive up this, but someone might. And this is a challenging location. Very bad from a business standpoint. And honestly, the environment is way worse than I thought it was going to be. So let's add a bit of landscaping behind it and then maybe convert this into an office or two. It seems like it's really encouraging mixed use development, which I'm here for. That is awesome. Now I'm curious what adding a landscaping fence does 
and it looks like that was enough. All you've got to do is add a landscaping fence and you've maxed out your natural environment score. So at this point, it is simply the business and that should be easy enough to resolve. I think if we get two offices over here, we can be satisfied knowing that this is going to be just fine. So I'll add some right across the way and we will just leave this. So I think we're fairly set here. So at this point, it's the perfect time to look at some of our more upscale hotels and leave the stadium district. And now we're finally downtown and we've got some exciting updates for this area and over in Palma de Fuego. So to begin, I wanna take a look at our new hotels. We've unlocked this city hotel. This is primarily a shopping and business hotel. Absolutely no need to have nature nearby, but sightseeing is not bad. So that's parks and other amenities. Then we have the exact opposite, a mountain lodge, which nature is first and foremost in this one. Although it does want to have other amenities close by, making me think that this nature reserve here might be a good location for it. And then we have the boat hotel, or as was mentioned in the comments of the previous video, the Botel. And I love this one. It's a really nice asset. There's this one and another asset that goes out to sea, but basically it is a permanently docked boat that serves as a hotel, it has a fancy restaurant. And for all of these, look at this one, a thousand per week in upkeep. This one right here, 3,200 per week in upkeep. And this one, almost 3,000. So we've gotta be really thoughtful about the placement. I think we're gonna start out with the city hotel, but I wanna look at our weekly profit needs. We're about a third of the way there and our popularity is absolutely in an amazing spot. So we don't wanna jeopardize that. We need to find a place with excellent shopping and business availability. And I'm guessing that's gonna be right about in this area. And you can see it kind of lights up for both of these. And then for sightseeing, we know that we have the Hamilton experience right here, so there should be no problem. So let's find a good location for this and knock out a couple of blocks. So I think that's really where we're at at this point in time. And I could see the Lopez Myrtles purchasing up some of these smaller properties over time. These at this point in time would probably feel a bit underutilized in this area in terms of the density. We've got the Science Center here as well. Let's add one of our new hotels. Looking at this, look at the size of this building. It is absolutely massive. If we place it here, we're gonna take out that tower. So I might give ourselves one here. We'll call a mulligan on that tower and uh, see what we can do. Now, we, we gotta be careful though, because I don't wanna take out all of the businesses. And actually, it looks like for this, I can't get around the bend. I do want this on sunset. I don't want this facing a back road. To me, that doesn't make a ton of sense. The transit service is right here. We'll place one right here in the corner. And then maybe on the opposite end as well. And then we've got some land here that is not zoned. And I think that we are going to add in an office as a buffer. And then behind these buildings, I do not want there to be any zoning. I don't want little tiny buildings popping up. Now the, the terrain here is challenging and we're gonna have to take some liberties here and landscape to make this look better. And unfortunately in this case, landscaping doesn't even give us a benefit. It just makes us feel good. And I think that we're gonna start our march to 200,000. I talked a little bit about that. Why don't we get rid of this and increase the density here as well? I could see that being a rational thing to do. In fact, this will be a transition zone. We'll just have some height here. Then let's landscape back here to cover up some of the lumpies and bumpies. And there we go. So we've got two hotels right here. Feels like a good spot. You might have noticed, even though we placed the same hotel, they look different. And that's because the city hotel, this hotel we just placed, has four variations. So the difference between the variations is really the height and the width. Now, this does not impact the number of guests that you can serve at these. So really just choose the one that makes the most sense for you. And in this case, what I think we're going to do is continue with height in both locations. So we'll go for two and four, the tall variations here get to see over some of these lower buildings. I think that that makes some good sense. Now these locations are absolutely outstanding. 100 here, 100 here, crank it up. And these are now easily our most profitable hotels. We're hauling in 3,500 per hotel. We could place some more of these and easily reach our final destination, but I don't wanna take the easy way out. Let's go ahead and place a different hotel. And I'm gonna go for this mountain lodge 
because I really think that we could do something special over here. We're gonna get rid of a couple of homes here and we'll say that the Merle Lopez's <laughs> purchased these. So we'll get rid of these fences and we've got a gate here and I wanna make sure this isn't the main gate, it's a side gate. So I wanna take this gate and bump it back and let's add a dirt road back here to make this feel a little bit more rustic. And this thing is massive. So we are gonna need to set this back even further. And I'm wondering, we're probably gonna need to call a mulligan on our trail a bit over here or wrap our road around. And truthfully, I think that that is the approach. So we are going to grab our dirt road again. I'm gonna pull this here and then we'll make our connection. We did not respect our topography, but we could fix that. Now you might've wondered why I placed this this way. And the main thing is I wanted the front entryway to look into the forest. It's really personal preference. Obviously city view would not be great. We're gonna place a bunch of landscaping back here as well, but we've gotta get this gate placed first. And the idea that I have for this is I kinda of want it to be right here, but I don't want it to feel like it's just floating off here. So we are going to add in a little chunk of road and we'll move our gate over, place this right on the road, and I'll delete that. And then I'm gonna switch this to be only angle, and then I can run that right in. So that looks a ton better in my opinion. I know that this is just a personal preference thing and it doesn't really matter, but I like it. And before we get any further working on our landscaping, I do wanna check out what's happening here with our resort. And it looks like from a nature standpoint, we're actually in a pretty good place. We're in a bad spot with everything else, which is a little bit unexpected. I thought that we'd be in a better spot with our shopping at a bare minimum, but it's all fixable because we're right next to the city. I just more or less tried to replace what was here. And I am noticing something interesting. This actually comes with a path attached to it. So maybe this is the side gate. If you're not coming to the resort, you can enter here. But if you are at the resort, you can take this side path and get into the park without paying because you've already paid for a park pass with your resort fee in this location. Let's get our shopping up to snuff and our business location as well. So we're going to get rid of some of the buildings here. This is very suburban and they're forcing us to diversify our uses and I love that. So near this gymnasium, we'll have some commercial and on the other side, we're gonna have a couple of offices. And there we go. For the most part, things have filled out. We now have places that are offices and you can go shopping at Fry Guys, I guess, twice. <laughs> so. This has boosted things up for us. Popularity is at 84. It's not perfect, but I think it's pretty darn good. We can boost this up and make some serious money now. And now we're taking in a nice profit of about uh, 3,000 per week, which is pretty good. This is unlocked level four for us. And look at this. We are just a little under halfway to where we need to be to unlock level five buildings. So this is going to be a real trick for us but I think that the new hotels are gonna help. So again, as we progress down, we've unlocked three new hotels, and these are more expensive per week, more expensive to implement, and we are gonna get more profits. So right here, we have our conference hotel. This is a hotel that cares about business above all else, shopping second, sightseeing number two. So maybe it wants to be next to a dog park, a McDonald's, and then have a whole bunch of offices next to it. Then we've got this spa resort. This is all about sightseeing and shopping, a little bit of nature. This is gonna be a fun one to build. And then we also have the ocean resort. So I wanna start out with our ocean resort and our spa resort, mainly because I think these are more interesting and harder to do. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And there's something I wanted to point out with both this building and this boat hotel, the Botel. Both of these struggle on key walls. And when I say struggle, I mean, I've never got it to work. So even if we were to place the most basic key wall, this does not work. You cannot place this here. Same thing with the Botel. Just something to keep in mind, you're going to have to be on the sand. I think that the ideal location would be a shallow beach. We don't have very many shallow beaches here, so we are gonna go and have a road on the beach. I wanna place this here. I think that this would be amazing. Can you imagine sitting here 
You've got this ocean resort with these little villas over water, kind of like something you'd see in Tahiti or something. And you get to view the shore of Verde Beach. You get to see the planes come in, the boats going out, the sunsets, the, or is it sunrises here? Maybe both? <laughs> Either way, what an amazing location. But this is gonna be tough to work with without a key wall, which is why we need to pause. Couple of different ways that you can work with this. I'm gonna place this just so we can take a look. There are three different connection points with this particular asset. You can decide to connect directly into the back of it which makes this a very unique asset. That's good enough. You could do this and this would be good enough. I could see doing this if you wanted to have parking along here, that would be a valid way of approaching this. The other way that you can connect this up is on the sides. That's the approach I'm gonna take. So I'm gonna go about 10 units out, but I do wanna flatten this first. I want this to feel controlled and this is a way that we do it. Now we've got some things to worry about here. How do we make a connection? How do we get this what it needs in terms of shopping? We are perfectly maxed out in terms of our nature. We're right on the coast, but our sightseeing is gonna be a concern. Now, interestingly, sightseeing can be a parking lot because a parking lot is a park. So we could take that approach. And just for kicks, I'm gonna place two of these. We'll take a look and see what that did for us after we get this connected but I wanna have a road that goes and meets up right about here. We're gonna need to slope this a bit and respect our topography. Now, I wanna do one other thing in this location. It's gonna be the first place we do this. We're going to change our zoning. And I think it's important here because you see that we've got a house spawning on this road. That is not what we want. So we'll eliminate zoning. That's this, just the simple line right here. And now we can upgrade this. No zoning. Reestablishes this here. And if we would have done that earlier, we wouldn't have lost that house. So unfortunate that we did this late, but better late than never, I suppose. Except for maybe for that person up there. They probably don't agree with that. <laughs> and you see that we have the remnant of our old ferry harbor. We are gonna fix our water pipes. We can't leave them that messy, even if they do the trick. And then as much as I hate to do this, we are going to temporarily add in a power line just to get things moving here. And then I wanna see what we're looking at in terms of our attractiveness. So like I mentioned, this one does have a bit more sightseeing because we added the parking lots. It's not that attractive though. So. We're going to need to do something a little bit better, but apparently that goodness is spreading all the way over here. So I wonder if the idea then might be to put a parking solution in the center and then have some of our other buildings over here. So we've got a whole bunch of new tourism assets, and I think it would be great to have a cafe on either side. And then we need shopping here. So that is a consideration. I don't believe that we need. Yeah, we need nothing for business. So it's just shopping. And then we'll go with some of our older assets, maybe some beach volleyball on the side. And now I do wanna clean this up, so we'll take a look at our terrain and fix this. And now let's take a look at our hotels to see if things have improved at all. Our sightseeing is way, way up. Our shopping is not in a good place. That will get better. I do want to place a theme over this though, and I just wanna make sure, because this extends all the way over here, yeah, this is, the gigantic Palma de Fuego area. So let's make a new area for ourselves. I think we're gonna make this organic and local. So the idea would be to have a farmer's market or something of that nature right here. And I might even change out one of these beach volleyballs, maybe both of them, to have a better asset. And we've got these tourist parks, and I think that might go really well with the organic and local produce. This is a bit bigger, so we are gonna eat into that a bit but well, we can always fix that if we have to. Now, the reason I want this, if we have organic and local, we're gonna start to see some farmer's market looking assets. And then here we've got souvenir shops that are outdoors. And I think I might leave these both to have this variation, but there are two other ones. We've got this indoor building and this one. Actually, we'll go for this. Two outdoor sort of souvenir shops. I guess EV parking, I guess that's what we'll go for here. And then there we go, we'll improve this. Now it seems like there is a path connection here. We can clip right onto the back here. So what we're gonna do is make a connection and give people the ability to walk all the way around this. Uh, 
And there we go. Fairly simple, but I think it makes it look quite a bit better. It's an interesting place now. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you could, well, theoretically walk to. It looks like it's just a bunch of parking on the beach, which I think kind of stinks. And it's still doing absolutely nothing for us in terms of shopping. Let's add some small shops here along the water. And hopefully this spawns some of those smaller parks, this, those smaller farmer's market sort of assets. So this should do the trick for us. And you start to see these raise up. And another nice thing about that is it means that we could potentially put more of our unique buildings back here to level up our sightseeing, although we're almost at the top now. So it doesn't seem like this is a big consideration over here, at least. Over here, we could use a bit more. So I've added in one more sidewalk cafe, and I do want to vary these up. We've got three of them here now, and two are exactly the same. So we'll go for this one. It's brick. Honestly, it looks kind of weird here. So maybe we maybe we do go and have some rep repetition here. It is a little bit higher. This one isn't doing great yet, but I think as these level up, it will continue to improve. This one right here, for instance, 96% looking very, very good. We'll crank the budget on that one. And this one, 83. So apparently this parking lot is the magic bit <laughs> that everything needs. And I hate doing this, but I added two parking lots, one on either side to see what this does. And it got us to 88%. So apparently that was helpful <laughs> in terms of reaching our attractiveness. Same thing over here. Shopping is our major limitation. I think we're going to roll with it. It's going to improve over time because we're approaching 80. I'll just crank this. We are still making a small profit over here. This will get big, better over time. But we are crushing it right here and right here. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. So we are just a little ways away from reaching level five. There are a couple of things that we are going to place now right in this area. So right here, I want to put our spa resort and obviously our number one considerations here are sightseeing and shopping. In terms of sightseeing, there's not much here, but we can do something about that. Shopping, it's right there. It's right there. So we should be able to make this work. In terms of nature, we're right on the coast. What? Oh, wow. That is fascinating. I would have thought that this would have been an excellent nature location, but apparently it's bad. And I'm wondering if that's the power line or it's just that our shore is so much wider right here. Well, we'll try to use that to our advantage. What we're going to begin with is a little area to pull into the spa. Let's look at our contours. Holy cow. Yeah, we'll send this up to this contour line here. And then we're going to need to flatten a whole bunch of this out. All right, topography, you respect me. And now we are going to place this brand new spa resort. Ah, kidding. We actually left our toggled zoning off on this. And as a result, we can't place anything here. Now we can place this and the road is basically perfect. I think I want to pull it one tile in. There we go. So this is absolute perfection. I think this would provide a really grand entryway into this. You're coming down the road. And this is sitting above, looking at the power lines, but we'll get rid of those. Now, what I'm thinking for this spot is I want an equestrian area over here, maybe a pool over here, some tennis courts, some parking off to the side here, and then maybe a couple of places to shop within here. So that should get our attractiveness up. It should help with our shopping, and it should just be a good location in terms of nature once we densely landscape along here, which is something I want to do so that we can cover up some of the lumpies and bumpies. And I think right here, we're going to send this off right here because we want a parking lot. So this will be for someone who's coming to, to work with their horses. They could park in this area and go directly there. And someone staying at the resort could do the exact same thing. And there'll be lots of road deleting as I try to work within this really tight space. And what I'm thinking is that we will level the terrain here and add in our stables. Oh, and that's perfect. We can make this work. And I think that this would be absolutely amazing. Come through here and you could either go and stay here. And these look pretty decent together. The colors of the buildings are OK. The roofs are obviously different, but you can have some differences in terms of roof color and material. Not a big deal. There we go. We build a retaining wall and the lumpies and bumpies are no longer a concern. 
So I want to get this running right off the bat so we can keep an eye on how things are going here. So let's add some water pipes right underneath the road, right where they belong. So let's add a bit of shopping over here. And again, I want to go small scale. So I think we'll place a couple of these right here. And I'm going to grab that district that we just created over here. And I'm going to cover this as well. And then I'll cut that off. So that will give us organic and local. And I'm doing that because I want to have another district right here. I think we're going to need some shopping on the outside of this as well. It'll also help us with our power jumping. So all around, not a bad idea to have this here. And while we wait for some of this to fill in, we're going to come over here and start to think about our uses. We could do better with the sightseeing. So I think that we're going to place one of our new assets over here. And I like the idea of using one of these new ponds, but I want to give enough space to be able to walk in between. So we'll give at one at least one unit separation. Then I'm going to send a road up the side here again after giving one unit of separation. This one not for walking, but really this one just so that we have a little bit of breathing room. And on this road, we're going to go into our healthcare and grab one of our pools. This could be a really interesting amenity to have here. So act like this is a clubhouse pool and maybe we even have a yoga garden next to it. Make these feel like it's a part of this resort. And then along the side here, we're going to have some of our tennis courts. And I'm going to draw this first. We've got to level this. I don't want these on the roadside, so I'm going to place them over here. It's probably a more challenging location, but it feels more appropriate. If you were playing tennis back here, I don't think you'd like to be near the road. You'd want as much privacy as you could have. There we go. That is looking pretty good. Now, in terms of what this has done, we still have absolutely no shopping available to us. So that is not going to work out. So I'm going to add in some of our new shopping malls, content creator pack assets right along here. I think that it could work well. I don't want to obstruct the views though. So that's something that we're going to need to consider through here. We are maxed out on sightseeing. So it's really just that one thing. So let's take a look at our power to make sure that we're jumping. And it looks like these, this little complex here is doing the heavy lifting for us. So we can now get rid of this power line, which has just been an eyesore on our beach for so many years. So I added this district right here, Garnet Hills, and we're going to change the style to shopping malls. And then we'll have a dense little shopping district right here. So to begin, let's start leveling this. And what I'm thinking is that anywhere that there's grass, we're going to flatten that to be the same height as the road. And we'll try not to build too many of these buildings in the sand. So now these buildings are spawning in and our district ends before we get over here. If we take a look, we actually go into Playa de Matero right here and I'm OK with that. So we'll leave this. We'll see what that turns into. While this is filling in, I'm going to round out the community. We'll finally finish Playa de Matero. There we go. And can we talk about how good it feels to finally have this little area filled in. Looks absolutely outstanding. Kind of blends with what used to be there. And I am jazzed about it. We've got some lumpies and bumpies here on the shore. Easy to fix. Grab the top height. Just pull this down and get it far enough away from your buildings that you can slope this out without fear of getting too close. Oh, and looking so good. Now, I am curious. Did this help at all? Not really. So we're still in kind of a rough spot. I guess our power didn't jump here. That could be an issue. So I'm imagining these being small restaurants that you might have at the resort, maybe have a couple of different options available to you. So this will hopefully help with our shopping. While we're waiting for that, though, we did get our power to jump. I want to fix up the landscaping behind here because it is very ugly. All right, that was a very satisfying build for me. But what I, I think is going to be really interesting is I don't think that this is going to be profitable. <laughs> so, yeah, there's almost no shopping here. We're at 63%. This is actually probably going to make it 
harder for us to level up. It is making a little bit of money, but not much. I think we're going to leave it basically where it is, 2000 per week. This is here because it was a fun project. So this is a challenging one. I think that, you know, even with all the commercial we worked in here, this would almost function better if I dropped it in the middle of a neighborhood. And it just doesn't feel like the appropriate way of handling this. It feels like this is the appropriate way of handling it. So the game mechanic, you know, it's hit or miss. I would say that this is probably one of the reasons why after I unlock these, I'll probably never use the mechanic again, short of to make sure that my, my hotel is profitable. But I think this looks pretty darn good. So we do have another hotel that can hopefully get us over the hump. So we are going to go for our conference hotel. This one needs business and shopping. Now, I think that this is the ideal location because it's an, basically a 100% office district. And I think that we're just going to take this block here and just wholesale get rid of it and not worry too much about all the detailing around here. There wasn't enough to really worry about anyway. So not much that we can do here. This basically takes up the entire block. And when we take a look at this, we're almost totally maxed out on business. I'm kind of surprised that we are not. I am going to crank this up and I want to get the popularity of this one to really max out because of what we just did. So I'm going to take a building or two here and convert it. And it looks like we got two commercial buildings. These aren't good for our residential anyway. So we'll just convert those over. Exactly one of our new offices grew in and it got us almost all the way maxed out in terms of business right here. So our popularity is almost at 100. We're making 7,440 per week. That's pretty good. And after placing that, we are just a little ways away from where we need to be. We're about 5,000 off. So we could place another one of these, but I'm almost inclined to add a couple more city hotels near the other two that we placed so that we have all the variations available to us. And I'm thinking that it would be really nice to have that kind of extending along the coast here, even though we will take out these offices that I was trying to maintain. So I couldn't get these all in here, which is kind of unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I'm going to change the variation to one of our shorter ones. And it looks like momentarily we crossed the threshold. Let's see if it, if it keeps. It did not. We had an ocean resort just plummet off the side of a cliff in terms of the profit it was making. Not the end of the world. We are going to place one more of our conference hotels. There's one more location that I think could work well. It will go for one more conference hotel, and we should be able to place this near our government district. Again, business number one, shopping number two. I think that if we were to place this basically anywhere over here, we're going to be in a fine place. So I'm going to see if maybe I can make this work right here. And maybe this begins the transition and densities a little bit higher in these areas. I think that we have a height restriction back here right now. And this could be the impetus for changing that in the future. We just did some things, some things that I will admit that I am not proud of. I had to use a whole bunch of eminent domain to make this work. That said, on a building site this big, it certainly could happen, but still always feels bad to demolish a bunch of stuff just to play with the game mechanics. That said, this site is 70 not perfect, but not bad. Shopping is our main consideration over here, our main concern. And we will just convert some of this to be shopping. And we'll convert a couple of houses back here to be office, and that should do the trick for us. There's a balancing act right now between having office and commercial back here. And I think that we're going to take some liberties. There we go. And after waiting just a little while for buildings to spawn in, we are all now up to 7,000 per week in profit. And we have unlocked all of our hotels, which is really exciting because the hotels that you unlock at level five are really special. They're really expensive. Look at this, almost 9,000 per week in upkeep and 300,000 to build. But this is a heritage hotel. It's a historic castle turned into a luxury hotel. I've got some ideas for this. We've also got this deluxe hotel absolutely magnificent it's a business hotel and it's very luxurious i think it's gonna be fun to place and then finally we have the design hotel a little bit of everything very expensive per week absolutely unique and outstanding design 
Looking forward to placing all three of these and some of the other hotels that we missed as well. And the last thing that I want to do is build a shuttle service for the hotels on Palma de Fuego. Let's recap where we're at with these hotels. And it looks like the one on the end has a popularity of 90%. Sightseeing is a problem here, so that's probably not going to be resolved with transit. This one, though, has an issue with shopping. Popularity is 81 now. So let's go ahead and build a transit route. And I want this to be fairly simple. What we're going to do is simply run a bus around Playa de Matero, getting to the subway station and the downtown area. So I'm going to have a stop right here, another one at the other end, and then we're just going to loop around the downtown area. Nothing all that extravagant. And there we go. Nice little looping route. Nothing all that fancy. Now, while this is spawning and figuring itself out, I want to take a look at this. This one is in a much worse spot. Shopping is the biggest concern here. Popularity of 65%, making a little bit of money, but not all that much. So let's add a shuttle service. Again, same sort of deal here, but I want to stop at our new shopping district. And then we'll also head to our downtown. And I wonder if we just reverse this and then you could transfer between the routes. Now for both of these, we're going to throw in a minibus because it feels like a shuttle and that's all I want it to be. And now we're just going to let things run for a moment. We're going to see how having a transit route changes things. And after giving this a few minutes, we have a fire. <laughs> but let's take a look at this and see. It looks like we're at 86%. So it's a little bit better, but not all that much. This was 65 and we're now 63. So apparently the transit route did absolutely nothing. All of that said, I did have a good time doing it and that is good enough for me. And now I think there's only one more thing to do and that's take inventory of what we've done and have a brief city tour. Things are looking so good in Verde Beach now that we have our new hotels. But there's one other thing that we changed during the intro that I want to take a look at. That is our little industrial district right here. And look at this. It's looking a ton better. Now, based on what I'm seeing, it looks like we've got some level one buildings in the back end and a bunch of level two buildings right here. Nope, nope. This one is a level two building. So I'm wondering what we need. And if we look at this, it needs more services to be upgraded. I'm guessing I know which service it needs. <laughs> what I always forget. Let's add some fire coverage. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely terrible. We will add this right here. Everyone loves that. And we start to see some stuff leveling up. Let's see what this turns into. And it's amazing just how many of these converted just by adding in a fire department. And now we have some level three buildings in here and they are looking really good, providing lots of jobs and just generally making this area look better. I'd love to see this entire area get to level three so we get rid of all the smokestacks, but either way, this is looking a ton better. The other thing I wanna do through here is we have this old asphalt road and now we have a new one available to us. And while I'm thinking of it, we're gonna convert this over to our new industrial four lane road. This would make a ton of sense. Woo, we've got to be careful. We are losing our zoning. Oh, that is going to be a thing from here on out forever for me. I will lose zoning. Uh, I wanted to convert this over because in an industrial area, you'd want to see cement. The asphalt would be wrecked right away. So they a lot of this would be concrete, you'd assume. And it just fits better with these other roads. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. And we've got that all throughout these areas, places where we couldn't do anything besides our asphalt road. And now this looks a ton better. And there's one last thing that we need to do that I didn't mention up until now. 
we have a fix to a problem that existed over here in our harbor district. So you might recall I needed to remove the monorail from this hub because the hub itself was broken. This is now fixed. So we should be able to take our monorail and move this in here. So we had our yellow line in there before and this green line. There we go. Now this is going to be a bit nerve wracking. Does this work? Oh, and look at this. We have a monorail coming into our hub. That is exactly what we were hoping to see. Anyone on it? No, <laughs> oh, there's one guy, one guy. Thank you so much for taking this. It's the very first passenger. Glad to see it. Things are looking good though. And I've had a really great time hanging out with you today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And I want to thank you for your time today. There's a million things you could be doing and you decided to hang out with me. I don't take that for granted and I appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to leave me a name for the new hotel company. We need something that honors Maggie Merle and would sound great for a hospitality business. So let me know down in the comments if you've got a good idea. And we will implement that in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me today. Can't wait to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.